when you are analyzing the market using price action, it is very important to pay attention to strength. So strength is the main property that you should focus into when you are analyzing the market because that's how the market moves. It moves based on strength. So if the market was moving in a downtrend here, it means that it is the sellers who are strong. Yeah? If the market is now moving up, it basically means that now it is the buyers which are gaining strength. So in this move here, you can see that we have something interesting. The market is now starting to move in an uptrend here and then all of a sudden just quickly our uptrend just gets broken remember these are the early stages of the uptrend so if you can if i can zoom a little bit you can see that these are just the early stages of the uptrend so the uptrend gets broken and then the market moves down meaning now the strength is again on the seller side so now the sellers are strong again but then for you to execute a selling trade you have to have obviously a series of lower highs and lower lows so you have to wait for the market to give you a lower high as you can see here we have this high which is lower than the previous one so it gives us a lower high and then we have a low here and then when you wait for the next low to be formed you can see that now the the next low is no longer lower than the previous one but it is at the same level as the previous low so which means now this principle that we have to sell when the highs are low and the lows are low uh, is now broken or it is no longer valid. So what do you do in that scenario? Then that's why you have to like go back and see why is this actually happening and what is likely to happen next. Because when you are trading, you are trying to predict the next move. What is likely going to happen here? Is the market going to continue to go up and or is the market going to go down? So what you have to do is that just go back a bit and see why the market started going down all the way here. You can see that the main reason is that here we have a very, very important area around this level here. So if I can just throw my range, you can see that around this area, it is a very, very important area level why is it important it is because that's where the sellers demonstrated huge signs of strength so if you can see here in this area you can see that there are buyers coming in trying to oppose the sellers there are buyers coming in trying to oppose the sellers but at the end of the day it is the sellers who won by this huge impulsive wave going down so this is an area where the sellers proved to the buyers that they are actually strong so they are trying to do it again starting here going all the way down so this is just a repetition of what has happening before that okay now the, the, it was a battle between the sellers and the buyers so it is again taking place that why price action is very very important because price has memories so what happened in the past is likely to influence a behavior or a new behavior in the future as it is happening here so what you should do as a trader because now it is not even clear whether you should sell because you can't sell if the sellers they are they are not yet given us signs of strength the only sign of strength that we want from sellers is sellers giving us lower lows and lower highs as they were doing here so that we are going to be able to find these highs where we are going to execute our our down uh trade so what you should do here is to wait for the right time to execute the trade. What is going to be the right time? We have two scenarios. It's either you're going to be buying or you're going to be selling. Let me just clear my screen. So if you're going to be selling, obviously you are looking to be selling at the highest point. And what is the highest point in this area? You can see that we have that high there. Prices like to go there. And then we also have that highest point all the way there so prices also like to go in that in that area so you have these two places or these two levels where prices like to go and that's where you're looking for to execute your trade or your your selling trade but it's like that price is not gonna reach that area so again you might be looking for buying for buying opportunities taking advantage of this trend and also taking advantage of this support so the right place for you to buy it is actually in this area or it is for you to wait until the buyers they do what they did in this wave here until the buyers they prove to us that they are indeed capable of giving us a series of higher highs and higher lows something um something like this né? you're waiting for something like this but obviously in a bigger picture so that you can actually trust the buyers and say okay i am going to buy here 
So what's likely to happen here is that the market is going to continue sideways and then there will be a breakout. You know? So if you want to sell, it's either you can sell in, in, the, in those levels or you can sell when the market breaks up because it's it's like that the market doesn't go up there. It's like that the market might start going down here and then maybe after a breakout, it's good for you to sell because now the, the sellers, they're demonstrating that they are capable of giving us a low that is lower than this one because if they break here, it means that they already defeated this low. So it's like that now the sellers, they're gaining strength. And if it happens that this wave doesn't reach that area, it is an extra advantage. Why? Because it will give us this as a lower high compared to that high. So we'll receive a lower high. And also it means that the market is like going to give us a lower low and then go up again, go down again. So if the market break out, breaks out, that's where you should be looking for selling opportunities. So I hope this is clear and I hope this is helping you guys understand and learn how to deal with price action.